We get asked all the time about the radio over IP capabilities of the MPU5. Today, we will provide a high level overview of radio over IP and show how easy it is to implement with the MPU5. Radio over IP is generally used to take two way radio systems like Motorola, Harris, or Talus and put these systems on an IP network. Traditionally, radio over IP systems have been rack mounted with gateways, Cisco routers, and generally, they're hard to configure and they're very expensive. With the MPU5s that you already own, you can enable radio over IP by just plugging in a cable. Here we have an MPU5. You'll notice that every MPU5 has a side connector labeled ROIP. Using a cable, we can connect military radios and public safety radios and share them on the MPU5 network. Let's take a look at the MPU5 web management interface. Here you see the audio configuration page. We can see the cable detection status right here and there is no radio over IP cable detected. If I connect a Motorola radio over IP cable, you can see where the MPU5 detects the Motorola XTS. It configures itself to connect to a Motorola public safety radio. Now I'm going to connect this radio over IP cable to connect to a tactical military radio. First, we notice that a radio over IP cable has been detected and that the MPU5 knows a tactical radio has been attached. In the web interface, we are going to set run ROIP subsystem to enabled. This enables the radio over IP. Now we are going to associate this tactical radio with one of our 16 talk groups. What this means is that when an MPU5 user talks on this talk group, the tactical radio will be keyed up. The tactical radio essentially becomes part of the talk group. I am going to select talk group three fires net. This associates the tactical radio with our fires net. Now, if I pick up any MPU five and set my dual PTT to talk group three, when I talk, you'll hear it coming out of the tactical radio. And if I talk on the tactical radio, any MPU-5 that is listening to talk group three will hear the audio. This is BR talking on the tactical radio. I read you loud and clear, over. It's really that simple to plug in third-party radios and make them accessible to all MAN-A users. In the future, we'll have videos that cover some of the more advanced features of radio over IP. But we hope this is enough to get you started. If you found this tech tip video useful, make sure to hit the like button. If there are other topics you'd like us to cover, please comment below. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our PS Wave Relay YouTube channel so that you don't miss any future videos.